Okay, so the most of the information next is going to be coming from the 2022 instructions for Schedule B. The Schedule B is a schedule that you might have to use if your interest goes above a certain threshold. So that's the interest and ordinary dividends. And this is the line item on the first page of the Form 1040, where we have uh, line 2A, where we have the tax exempt interest here. And then we have B, the taxable interest. And then if your interest is above a certain threshold, you might have to have the Schedule B as well. We're focused on the Schedule B with the interest portion, which is part one, as opposed to what we'll look at later, the second part, the uh, dividend part. Okay, so you, we're going to use Schedule B Form 1040 if any of the following apply. So this means that if you have interest, you're, you're typically going to have to take that 1099 and report it uh, as income if you have interest income. If your interest income goes above a certain threshold, then you're going to have to report it not only on the first page of the 1040, but you'll also have the Schedule B. You can test this out and we will test this out using tax software. Uh, as we start to populate uh, interest income, if it goes over a certain threshold, then you've got this second schedule. So we would use Schedule B. You had over 1,500 taxable interest or ordinary dividends. You received interest from a seller finance mortgage and the buyer used the property as a personal residence. Uh, you have accrued interest from a bond. You are reporting original issue discount. That's an OID of less than the amount shown on form 1099 OID, possibly more of an unusual situation for most uh, investors. You are reporting interest income of less than the amount shown on a form 1099 due to amortized bond premium. So we've got some special kind of circumstances with regards to the functioning of different types of bond uh, type of investments. And you are claiming the exclusion of interest from Series EE or IUS saving bonds issued after 1989. You received interest or ordinary dif dividends as a nominee. You had a financial interest in or a signature authority over a financial account in a foreign country, or you received a distribution from or were a grantor of a transfer or to a foreign uh, trust. So part one, interest, line one. Report on line one, all of your taxable interest. So obviously this would typically be from the, the 1099 interest. Taxable interest generally should be shown on your forms 1099-INT, form 1099-OID, or substitute statements. Include interest from EE, H, HH, and IUS savings bonds. Also include any accrued market discount that is includable in income and any gain on the contingent payment debt instrument that is includable in income as interest income. So it gets a little bit kind of messy on the certain kind of, of bond uh, uh, calculations. So usually it's a fairly straightforward situation, but you can imagine uh, weird kind of situations in the accruing and the interest of the bond due to the way the purchasing and the interest calculations of the bonds work if you buy them at a premium or a discount, for example, and so on. So don't report on line one any tax exempt interest. So we're not including the tax exempt portion there. Uh, because this is going to be the taxable line item. So the tax exempt interest later for more information. So for more information on stated interest, original issue discount, that's the OID market discount, contingent payment debt instrument and premium, you can see publication 515, publication 1212. 